now that my editing skills have really improved. You can't fight me on that. Uh, yeah, so welcome back to Cat's World. I am Cat. This is World. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching again I hope you subscribe and like the video um, the topic at hand today is youtubers to watch in 2020 um, as you can see my hair is short today because I'm taking these braids out after I come back from where I'm going like in a few minutes <laughs> this is actually my last week until I get back to formal education so basically up until the consistency stops <laughs> no I'm joking but I'm really gonna try and um, the next video will be a vlog so I really hope you enjoy that and vlogs take like a long time to edit so bear with me if it takes a bit of a while you know I will have it up it will be a vlog of my orientation week hopefully it works out because my phone battery is really lacking <laughs> so if you have a power bank please bring it with you um, so my audience is between the ages of 18 and 24 thank god for analytics um so i know a lot of you guys are stepping into the point where you are creating uh, i mean applying for loans for like university or even like starting to get your house or anything like that and so you kind of wanna like find a way to make money so you don't have to work your entire life trying to pay off that student debt um so the youtubers that i watch will help you with that um a lot of them talk about finances some are productivity some education and unfortunately there are no south african youtubers in this video that i'm going to talk about obviously other than <laughs> because um a lot of south african youtubers talk about beauty and i don't know mostly just makeup and i don't use makeup so i don't have any reason to watch them but I'm just gonna give some clout to Michali because she really deserves it her videos are really good and I like her travel videos the most because I don't use makeup and um, the reasons why I'm on YouTube mostly meaning the videos that I watch are mostly to learn something or to get inspired I don't really watch videos for entertainment on YouTube that's Instagram and TikTok stuff. So the YouTubers that I'm gonna mention are also will also fall under the categories of those things. But Michali falls under entertainment, hence I don't watch her. But if you follow Mark Manson, well I haven't actually read any of his books. Um so yeah. But I was listening to an interview um about his new book, Everything is Fact. He talks about choosing the people that you want to specifically listen to and kind of ignore everyone else because now everyone is throwing their information out to the internet as learning content and next thing you learn something from one person and you learn from another and it's just so contradicting and you don't know who to follow for success, I guess. So he says um rather have a few people that you listen to for finance maybe just even one even a few for this and a few for that so that you kind of know exactly your goal you know and i do this as well i have like an instagram specifically for business pages and stuff like that and another instagram for fashion um that people don't know about i recommend that you do this the youtubers list is well number one is andre jick uh, he's a russian youtuber um, who resides in Las Vegas I think yeah he's a magician but now he makes videos on finance and his videos are really nice because he implements the magician the magic things and everything like that in his videos so it's really fun to watch he talks about stocks retiring retiring early um, saving your money those are things that you, you kind of need to know and the sad thing is that they don't teach this in formal education in school but not gonna lie I learned a lot of like stuff like stocks and everything like that in high school so yeah but it's nice to hear from someone who has experience who's done it and can tell you which ones are the best and which ones he uses bec like for a specific goal so it's really good information to listen to and to follow so check out Andre Jake the second uh, YouTube channel is Alux. Um, Alux is a page where they make motivational content. Um, they give you inspiration, inspiration and 
kind of ideas on how to get the paper how to make money and this page is basically for people who want to be millionaires and who want to be materialistically successful in life i know that's not the only success but in this case it's about being materialistically successful and they talk about that they do profiles on um successful people for instance elon musk or bill gates and they'll tell you everything about them so you don't have to like research and do all that stuff it's just all in one video and it's really nice to watch <gasps> let me take out my there you go <laughs> so it's really interesting to watch stuff like that um mostly i watch it for learning things there's some content for entertainment but i don't really watch that <laughs> i'm not gonna lie the third channel is amy lee she is actually an amazing youtuber she's a lifestyle youtuber that i watch and she talks about various topics like um she once made a video about living alone in los angeles she makes vlogs she makes videos on self-care mindful living fashion loving yourself so it's nice to watch that and um i don't know i just i really like her videos she she's not anything I, like extraordinary but her content is actually really nice to watch and entertaining so I would say you should check her out I only found her recently and I've been watching her videos consistently and there's also like university content and stuff like that because she started her YouTube channel like a long time ago so there's stuff like that but that's not a lot of her flourishing videos right now I guess so just check out her content the fourth is Matt Diavella Matt Diavella is a productivity youtuber he talks about various things like um, creating habits and last year actually this is what I love about his page last year he had a full year where he was implementing new habits every single month so he do a challenge for like this month 30 days of running next month quitting sugar next month doing that and it's so interesting to watch because now what he does is he does the challenge he tells us how it was and he's really honest and he films everything during the challenge and then at the end of the year he kind of said um, the habits that he would keep in his life and why because there are a lot of habits that people say you should have wake up early drink a lot of water whatever whatever and sometimes it doesn't always work unless it's drinking water drink your water um, you don't all need to wake up at five to be successful in life we don't all need to do that some people are just really great at working at night and so why do you need to wake up early if you can do all that work at night it's really all about you so that is why it's so nice because he discovers um the benefits of those habits and why he would keep them in his life or not the fifth one is thomas frank he is also a productivity youtuber he kind of he's like kind of like matt diavella like it was amazing when they did a collaboration because they're like the same person and it was like oh my gosh <laughs> it was really cool to watch um he does videos on school as well um study techniques he also has a free book about i think it was like something like getting good grades or something like that i had the book i read it it was really good content because everything in the video sorry everything in the book is researched and it's study techniques and everything to do to get good grades but it's not just it's not just what can i say like it's not just information in j that he just picked up like he actually researched everything um tried it in his life and then he's telling us this is what will get you the good grades you know so you can try him out the sixth page is ali abdal now the the two people i just mentioned before and this guy all fall under productivity but also ali abdal's uh, study videos I find amazing he is a doctor who studied at Cambridge and he was like number one Cambridge for like a year he did very well and then he was telling us how he did that and his videos changed my life I promise you last year around September just before prelims I started watching his videos and I started implementing all his, the study techniques that he mentions because they are proof based and I don't know why I never implemented them when I was being told by someone else but when he told me I did that exactly the way he said and I I never looked back my grades improved and so will yours you're welcome number seven 
Graham Stephan. He is a real estate YouTuber, talks about everything from making money, um, being in real estate, and he didn't go to university because his grades were bad. So it's kind of interesting to watch someone whose grades were bad, but he's still making it in life. It, it just really shows you that grades are not everything and you can do a lot of things if you don't go to university it's not a big deal and he tells you how he did it he tells you he he buys rental properties and he's also in real estate too you can make a lot of money from being in real estate i feel like unless you're in south africa but and he's actually his content is really nice he talks to other people in the industry people who make money in different industries so you learn about it so interesting check him out the eighth channel is cut now this one is completely entertainment this is actually the first i feel like the first channel for entertainment that i watch and i always post like clips from their videos because it's so funny they do like um truth or drink and those videos are hilarious it could be like someone with their lecturer so, like daughter and son what i just said daughter and son <laughs> The daughter and like their mother or their father and it's so interesting because the questions are like really pushing and awkward and you kind of get to see how close the relationship is and stuff like that it's just so funny to watch you will go into the channel and you'll never look back and some of the people keep repeating so you kind of see them in different settings how they are with their parents how they are and in this setting and stuff like that it's so so funny I am probably gonna buy their game truth or drink because it's really good. The ninth one is Ryan Serhant. If you have seen, I keep looking there because there's someone, but I, if you've seen Million Dollar Listing New York, um, you probably know Ryan Serhant. He is a real estate agent, um, but the show doesn't play anymore. But now he has a YouTube channel where he does vlogs. It's kind of like a reality show on only his life. It's really nice to watch so interesting he does motivational content as well because he wasn't always the successful you know people who are successful now weren't always the successful and he tells you everything he moved to new york to be an actor ended up and ended up being a real estate agent who makes a lot of money because i would see his commission on the show and he was making a lot of money in a day just you come back you go to work you come back with like 60k that's amazing that's really good but of course that's not every day it's not what happens every day so it's really nice to watch his content he's extremely honest and he's he's about the grind he really is but he doesn't push it the way Gary Vee pushes it like in your face about side hustles and stuff like that because I like Gary Vee's content but sometimes I feel like ugh, back off dude <laughs> It seems a bit too much, but that's the point. He wants to really push you to kind of get to where you want to be. The tenth channel is the financial diet. I like how in the videos they'd be like, "Hi, this is," ha, 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 and we are the financial diet. It's the videos are so good. I've been watching the videos about um, mistakes I made after university, mistakes I made starting my first job, um, mistakes I made in my resume. So interesting so interesting people will tell you what to do in your resume but they won't tell you the mistakes that they made in their resume because you learn from other people's mistakes the most than you do from them just telling you what to do okay i'm telling you their content is solid um some of the videos are hmm, boring but their content is worth your while it's purely educational they teach you a lot of things that you don't learn from your parents and they tell you it's okay that your parents didn't teach you that because we are here to teach you that for free of charge so you don't have to of course it's just they're not financial advice or anything like that but their content is worth watching oh that was number 10 but i have a bonus one because i discovered this channel like a week ago and it's talks with google i didn't know google had a, a, a youtube channel where they had kind of a platform like ted talk and it's so interesting to watch i discovered it from watching an interview with ryan serhant and they were asking him about the things in his book and his life as a real estate agent and it was so interesting to watch and you do that with a lot of other people who have books and just do really good content so it's good to watch the content there is purely for you to learn um and to change your life <laughs> i mean 
there's nothing bad about that but anyway talks with google is a really good channel to check out it's just interesting you get to learn about your role models and if you don't have any role models you get to acquire new role models and people to look up to i said role models in such a weird way but it's okay <laughs> But yeah, those are the YouTubers that I watch and the people who really inspire and change my life, I guess. Um, especially in terms of finances, because this is not stuff that we really discuss at my house, I know. Um, actually, I'm lying. We actually talk about stuff like, <laughs> like making fast cash, stuff like that. And you know what? It's, al it's always a scam. Check out my How I Got Scammed video. Yeah, so, but we do talk about stuff like that, We're not, um... I don't know, but my, my parents don't necessarily teach me about um, forms of making and generating cash in a way where you don't actually do anything, so aka passive income. So it's interesting to watch what other people are doing, how they can help you. The sad thing is that these people are from America or you know, other countries and the systems are quite different. So yeah, maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll get in the industry and I'll yeah, teach you everything on our uh, yeah just just saying so <laughs> thank you for watching the video don't forget to tune into my next video that's coming out next week hopefully but yeah i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching like and subscribe bye